This video is going to talk about the circle command. And the circle command actually has a few different options on ways we can draw a circle. We can do a center radius, center diameter, two points across the diameter, three points on the circumference of the circle. We can draw a tangent to two different lines with a given radius, or a tangent to three different lines or arcs. So six different ways we can draw a circle, and which one's right? It kind of depends on what you're doing. Um, so if you go off the flyout, you can pick any one directly. If you just type the circle command, and the alias is C for this one, it's automatically going to ask you for the center point, so we can put it in a center point. Now it wants the radius of the circle. And if we look down at the command line, we can, now, we can tell it that we want to do a diameter instead, so type D, enter. Now we have the diameter selected. We can actually put it in a diameter. So diameter of three, done. As I'm, or before I start the center point, I have the option for the three point, two point, or tangent, tangent radius. So let's say I want to do a two point circle. I'm just going to type 2P, hit enter. Now I can click one point, and as I move the circle, you can see it's kind of just keeping that right across the diameter. So I could go here and just go from the left quadrant to the right or the right quadrant, or any angle if I knew two different points. If I could just point it here and tell it I want it to be four inch diameter circle. If I hit enter, it's because I'm taking me back to the last command with no option selected. So I could type 3P, do a three point circle. You can see your first point, second point. Now that I have a third point, it's going to kind of go through those two other points and this new point. Enter to get back into it. TTR takes me to tangent, tangent radius. So now I can pick, look, I don't know, it takes me to the tangent O snap, tangent there, tangent there, and I'll say, let's say 10. And it puts in a circle with a radius of 10, tangent to those two circles. Pretty handy, huh? I could also go in here, and from the pull down, I, this is the only place I can get tangent, tangent, tangent. So I'm gonna pick that, I'm gonna pick that circle, that circle, and that circle, and get one that's tangent to all three. And I didn't put in a radius, because it, it had to figure that out on its own. But if I want to look and see what it is, I can pick on that, and go up here into the, the quick properties, just go over this little bar here, and now it's going to tell me the radius, the diameter, circumference, area of that circle. So I can just kind of double check it. Same thing with either of those. I just pick on it, go over the little bar, and now I can see what that is. <clears throat> so because this was one I didn't, I just kind of picked three points. Not a nice round number. This one, I told it how big to be, so it made it that big. A big problem that people usually have is they'll do a circle and they'll put in a radius of three instead of a diameter of three. Then they'll, okay, how do I change this? So easy thing, you just pick on it, go into quick properties. You can see that it's showing a radius of three and a diameter of six. So if you just pick diameter and change that to three, hit enter, it resizes it for you. So there's no need to panic and then just hit escape to get out of it. And we don't want to hit enter because enter would have redone whatever our last command was. And if our last command had been erase or undo, then we'd have some problems going on with our part disappearing or it undoing that change we had just done to it. So usually if you're just picking on something and turn on these little blue dots, just hit escape to get out of that. 